this time you guys decided to go exploring. You finished up with all your stuff in the marketplace uh, and decided to continue on in here. Uh, had a couple encounters with some rust monsters, some giant spiders where uh, Oline, was fun. Yeah, just decided to cleave one after another. Um, and I mean that was the, that was the bulk of it. You we were looking at some uh, um, Shelob looking webbed creatures. Most of them were all just dead creatures. One of them had a swarm of spiders that came out and attacked you. But uh, you know, little annoyance to you guys at this point. Um, but the giant spiders again they weren't too deadly. I mean, there was a couple of little nicks and cuts here and there. But uh, overall, you guys were able to dispatch them pretty good. Uh, you guys did uh, use them as kind of a barricade and uh, were able to take a long rest as uh, to make sure that all everyone, Chris, make sure that you have clicked the long rest button um, on your stuff. So you guys should all be full up, ready to go after taking some watches. And the floor is going to be open to y'all. Nice. Um, boy, where are we at right now? We're way over there, yep. Um, there was a door and then a hallway. Farting over here? No, I'm just burping. Like, this hallway here? That nigga hiccups. <laughs> Fucking Chris over here farting. Hiccups. Hiccups from your ass. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, we had that one, and What's I guess all we, did, we didn't go all the way down. Those are all the the egg sacks ah. that we busted egg. open last time. Egg sack. So yeah, we have there's a door, and a hallway, and then another hallway which looks like stairs that we passed. I remember. Let's go check it out. Oh boy. So when when we all get up from that long rest, you guys kinda see um a door. You see Lugwin and he's got a uh, he's got an owl. Like a fucking owl just sitting on him. <laughs> like from nowhere. Does this owl Chris, have any sort of uh physical features that might stand out yes. to Anyone? It's, it's like a, it's like, like a, an old man. Yeah, it's a, it, it's the body of an owl, but it has a very distinct human face. And uh, when it when it makes any kind of sound, it sounds like it's from Rhode Island. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. And it says, "Who?" <laughs> 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 I love it. Uh, I'm just gonna shake my head and just walk right past. I don't know enough about this to question it. Just a weird looking thing on your shoulder. You do you. That's all you need to worry about. Yep. So we have a door. There's a we door at the end of the hallway. hallway. Up this way. Shall we go back north? Someone want to do a uh, perception check on that? It looks like a door. See if it's a trap door. That would require someone that can check for trap. My perception's plus five. Damn. There you go. You could have wisdom modifier right there. Yeah. Wait, it's 
it's not clickable though. On D and D Beyond? Oh, yeah. you're still dealing with that? No, I gotta log in. Yeah, I'm logged in, but. Is he... <clears throat> See, that's all it does. Let me try refreshing. Those come up. Yeah, but this doesn't. Huh. Crazy, huh? Yeah, these come up. You, you know, you know. Yeah, what happened? How do we do that? We reset our computer, and it looks like she doesn't have any of the dice rolling things on it. Huh. So... Can she still hit the, like, dice down in the corner? I don't it's know not even there. Oh, it's not there? Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. Andrew, get her some of your real dice. I know, right? I don't even know where they are. We got like four sets here. <laughs> Those are rookie numbers. You gotta put them up. And yeah, right. I, I've got ten. Yeah, do... I shot right here. Holy shit! <laughs> Where do we turn on that option? Uh, yeah, in the beginning it just worked, so I don't know. It might be in your character. You have to go in there and enable dice rolling. Oh yeah, edit your character. I found it. Edit. I'm going to take this time to look for an owl picture. Now it's there. Yeah, you will. Now it's there. Yay. Alright. Okay. Cool. Um, Perception. Yeah. It was already checked. That and was weird. That's a 20. Nice. Alright. Uh, with a 20, you are uh, you, you're examining the door, and as you get up close to it, um, you can sense sort of a chill coming off of the door. The air around it is, is, or the door itself is emanating mm -hmm. some sort of cold. Hmm. It's a cold door, y'all. Maybe it's a meat locker. I'll show you a meat locker. Oh, no. Is that the name of your second OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it well, because you know that's already taken. Yeah. Yes, of course. Open this cold door. Let's yeah. see it. Okay. Yes. Uh, you pull open the door, and in here, immediately, as soon as you pull it open, a wave of just cold air just rushes over all of you. Uh, like freezing, bitterly cold air. Um, O-Line is a Goliath. <clears throat> you don't necessarily feel too out of place with it. It kind of feels like home a little bit. Yep. But uh, to everyone I'm else, resistant to cold. Yep. Uh, but to everyone else, this is a, a bitter cold that you guys haven't... I mean, I'm, I don't know how in your backstories, but so uh, as, as you have been adventuring with each other, you've never felt cold like this. This feels um, normal. This is summertime. Um, the walls rise at about, about, 10, about 10 feet, and then they angle inward, forming kind of a, a pyramid-style roof uh, with a 40-foot apex. Um, as you look around the room, you can see inscribed on the sloped north wall, so kind of like over here, uh, is a 10-foot-tall dwarvish rune that glows with faint blue light. Ooh. You want to come check this out? <laughs> it's yeah. nice in here. 
Yeah, Lugwin's going to go over there and see if he can do... Uh, I guess that would be Arcana for a rune. An Arcana check. Uh, it is... Let me see... Check something really quick here. Alright, cool. Uh, so you're just, just doing some sort of Arcana check? Yeah, I just want to see if I can determine what it is. Okay. Um... I don't know, does anyone here, so he'll turn around and ask, as, do any of you speak Dwarvish? I do not. Speak giant. Hmm. Which is the exact opposite of a dwarf. <laughs> nope. Yes, maybe if we made the We're character dwarves. much larger. Yes. Maybe. Alright, so he'll turn around and just do the arcana check on it. Alright, go ahead and roll our cannon for me. Hopefully that's okay. Oh, no. 22. <laughs> Look in Discord. Uh, <laughs> 20. <laughs> and just... Uh, uh. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> there it is. Good old Han Darrington. That's incredible. Yeah. Oh, the music is coming from Forza. It's what? still running in the background. This guy. I was like, where is that Mexican music coming from? Well, you got Chris over. Oh. 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 <laughs> Damn. It's coming out of my blood. <laughs> I got... <laughs> Alright, uh, with the 22, uh, yeah, you do sense that this is a magical rune. Okay. You want to yeah. touch it, don't you? I kind of want to touch I, it. I've seen the way you look at things. It is about, it, about 20 yeah, feet up. Just... Oh. Well, oh. I'm 8 feet tall. I mean, you want to hop on like Master Blaster? Let's throw him up there. Alright. <laughs> We don't have a ladder. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, so how, how how hard how high did I say? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. Twenty. So and this rune this rune is ten feet tall. So it is a very tall rune up on the up on the wall there. I bet that shit's gonna freeze my hand. Uh, well, you can hop on the shoulders. Yeah, but let's see. So if. Lugwin is un just under six feet. You're how old? Eight. Eight. So that's only yeah, fourteen. M yeah, my arms are probably three, four feet long. Okay. So twelve, thirteen. That's eighteen at best. And then I've got arms. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yes, you do. No, you don't. <laughs> God damn it. You ever seen a, uh, a, a spellcaster without arms? <laughs> I've just been wearing prosthetic arms the entire time. <laughs> Guys didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's try it. Um, right, we'll hoist Lug him up. Lugwin will climb up on on his hands and slap the rune. Like he's trying to slap the top of the door when he walked through it. <laughs> okay. Um, you slap the the rune and it flashes Slapping the a base. little bit, like kind of like blue magical sparks where you hit it, and nothing happens. Okay. Take it. Huh? What? Take it. <laughs> oh, I can't take it. <laughs> It's like inscribed on the wall, right? Correct, yeah. Okay. Ah, well. Yeah. Juan says hi. Hey, Juan. Hey, Juan. He also says you're dumb. Yeah. <laughs> He's just jealous. I'm not, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what else to do here. Um, looks like a dwarven rune that is probably making the room cold. Is there anything else in the room? 
Um, it looks like this room was used at one point for cold storage. Uh, you know, it could have been uh, where all the meat was kept and just all the, the goods that needed to be preserved. But And you can see little remnants of that here and there, but for the most part, this room has been cleared out. So do we know that the cold is coming from the rune and not from somewhere else? Uh, we don't as... know it, but we can infer it. Well, I mean, underground yeah, cavern okay. or something. I mean, who knows? I mean, we're talking like this. You, you guys are in a, a room that is zero degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So when you walked in this room, you all are freezing. I'm not. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. It is very cold. All right. I'll shut the door behind everybody. Quick, lock him in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let me out. Got one in a sack and another popsicle. Yeah, yeah. right. Raleigh and Duke get left behind. Hi. We only got one mouse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 See, are you logged into like his on two different browsers? Yep. Incognito. Incognito. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Why don't I just give you control of his character for the night? <laughs> I mean, that, that makes too sense. much sense. Jesus. All right. No, well, I need an incognito anyway, so I can use his dice. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, browsers. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I'm still. He can do that on his on the iPhone app. There's an iPhone app. Yeah. Oh yeah. There is. I yeah. thought that was in beta and not working yet. No, it works great. Yeah. It works. Oh, we're talking about D and D Beyond. Yeah. What are you talking about? Do content <laughs> edit can be edited by Dewey. Ooh. Okay, Dewey, you should be able to move his character around. <laughs> I'm moving up. Haha! All right, so you can move his character, and he can roll in the app. Hey, can you nice. roll in the app? Yeah, I'm downloading it now. You're downloading the app. You guys want to check out this room to the south? We could have played this from under the car. Um. South. North. I say let's check out this room since we're already here. Which one? South? Yeah, south one. Where the southern dead spider was? Mm hmm. You want to check with the high perception again? Um, I'm not going to be able to do that. I got a, a negative one perception. I have plus five. There you go. Ooh. Not good. Uh, it's yeah, a door. Other, uh, yeah, other than it being a door, you don't notice anything. You know, it, it opens, it pushes open, but that's about it. Ladies first. <laughs> uh, no, thank you, big boy. <laughs> I'll open the door. All right. Open it. You okay, open the door, big boy. Inside, you see, lying in the middle of the room, is a dead giant spider. Its body full of arrows and scorched by fire. Uh, it, it's lying down it. next to a broken wooden bed against the east wall. Along Dang. the south wall, there's an armoire that's draped in cobwebs. You said it all fancy like. We should search it. Yeah. Think Investigation so. check on I'm this. Telling, I'm just telling you what's in the room. Dusty ass armoire. Somebody check the bed. Oh no! It was an uh, eight. <laughs> it is very dusty. It is very God. cobwebby. There's ectoplasm everywhere. <laughs> Slimer. Uh, Admiral, shit. <laughs> uh, Lugwin, I really have to poop. And then you see the owl just shit like down <laughs> down his back a little bit. It's unfortunate. The owl shits on your back. What? Just like in real Somebody life. Somebody knocked the cobwebs <laughs> off something in here. This bed's broken. Raleigh, are you jumping on the bed? 
It's a broken bed. That's a terrible idea. It is a broken wooden bed. But... I don't want splinters. I'm good. Alright. Anyone else want to try to investigate this dusty-ass piece of furniture down here? By What are you guys doing when you're investigating it, by the way? Be more like, are you just so, looking at it? Or... Uh, no, no, no. Like, I, so he, I would have been trying <laughs> yes, to pull the drawers open. And, okay, so it's got, it's yeah, got you know, the drawers and it's got the, the, the two things in the front. You can do that. So, um, okay. The, the the drawers open there's just you know gross shirts and clothing and whatever and you you go to pull open the door and it uh it sticks a little bit um go ahead and roll a strength check for me okay oh this will be good yep wait saving throw nope just <laughs> check just click on the strength yeah, button. That's, um, that's a solid six. Right? <laughs> that's right. It's a gentleman's yeah. six. <laughs> you, uh, you, you go to, to pull it open. It's, it's a little bit tough for you, but you pull it open and you it, 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 it all of a sudden bursts open. You stumble back a little bit and this skeletal remain of something just jumps out at you and falls on the floor in front of you. What the hell is that? So he'll look down at that, the skeletal remains, and see if he can determine, like, is it clothed, or uh, is it, it, you know, there does are it look scraps, human? Yeah, there are scraps of clothing on it. It looks like this is this creature's been down here for a long time. Um, on closer inspection, you can kind of tell that this may have been some sort of uh, halfling. Um, hmm. who may have been uh, fighting these spiders and may have been just trapped inside of the, the armoire uh, for a little bit. Um, you can look around, you look at it too a little closer, and you can see that it, it does have a chain shirt on it, um, and it has uh, a ring on its left hand. It's that we'll ring. I yeah. thought we were looking for someone with a ring. The lion that was in the wardrobe. Not sure if he's a halfling, but Narnia. Narnia. Let's. We can look. Is it a? Does it have the signet ring? Yeah. Does it have so, the inscription that we're looking for? It, it doesn't have um, an inscription per se, but it is oddly pristine. Uh, it's it's pretty dust free. Um, you know, it's it's kind of it, it's a gold band and it's got blue inlay in it. Uh, very, you know, almost looks like. Uh, like water in the middle of it across the band. Um, but other does it have that, a falcon? It does not have a falcon on it. Alright. Well, let's take it anyway. We may be able to see if it's magical. I can tell you in ten minutes. <laughs> Just don't put it on yet. Do you guys want to find out right now? Hey, if we're not doing anything else, we can fast a minute. Yeah, we can cast Identify. Okay, as a ritual, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you spend the next ten minutes, everyone else kind of uh, stands guard, you know, just kind of uh, keeping an eye out as Liz Lugwin is doing his chanting. Uh, his eyes kind of darken a little bit as, as kind of the uh, the eerie necrotic almost energy flows around him the purplish eldritch energy um sith walking away feeling a little uncomfortable by this um as his voice just starts to get a little growly and as he mutters the incantation 10 minutes go by and your eyes open and everything comes back to to normal for you um and you find out that this is a ring of swimming what didn't do that guy any good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> when he was this swimming in spider this may be very useful for one of us in the future. You can go ahead and add that to your inventory. It, uh, while wearing it, you have a swim speed of 40 feet. Oh, that's Ooh. cool. Opposed to what, 10? So you don't have to make like a, a check or anything to swim. Nope. You can you just, just swim. You just go. Uh, no, by... Um... By default, your swim speed. You say, "What if you're colored?" I did not what? say that. 
<laughs> I said by what? default. Hey, if you said by color, just run speed. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, you guys. It's the fast twitch muscles, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, trying to see. Okay, so if you're swimming, your speed is essentially halved. Um, so okay. You, you get an extra. It, it costs an extra foot of movement if you're swimming. Gotcha. But if you have this, like this ring, you just get forty feet of swim movement, and that's it. That's cool. Yeah. It pocket that. Right. Yep. Anyone want the chain shirt? I think uh, if we can throw it in like a backpack or something, that might come in handy later. But I think everybody's wearing what they can. It is seemed as to far be as sized I'm... for a halfling as well. Ah, maybe we can sell it. <laughs> yeah, the <A> chain bandana. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, then I guess uh, time to head back to this one hallway then, yeah? Yep. Thanks, Juan. Thanks, Juan. Thanks, Juan. He has his headphones on. He can't hear shit. Smack him. Yeah. You ever been hit by one? It hurts. Yeah. You've been hit by him, but by a wiffle ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it's Funny. What are you guys doing? Uh, we I think we're gonna go check this up hole, or yeah. down these stairs. Yeah. All right. Down? I don't know. If, I don't know if they go down or up. They those are down. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go down these stairs. Hmm. Oh. Blitz off. It tees. That's right. Your kids don't have school tomorrow, little bastards. Oh. Really? Yeah, it's Veterans Day. Damn. Hey, we get to wear... We shouldn't have to work tomorrow either. We get to wear uh, American shirts <clears throat> if we want. We get to wear uh, Stolen Valor shirts tomorrow. We get to dress up. <laughs> All right, so you guys walk down the room. You can see that uh, that there are a few doors um, that split off here. Mm hmm. Always go right. Well, you can't go too far left. I want to check that. Go for it. Open the door. I'll stand here ready to shoot somebody. <laughs> Why don't we bo open both doors at the same time? What no. What could possibly go that, wrong? That uh, is yeah. never a good idea. It's good luck. No. Where the girl they got shot in your face? <laughs> Let me open this door. Open this door. The girl got stabbed in her face. You guys gotta generate the monsters. No, I'm just reading what's in the there. Fuck? I'm my <laughs> pizza rolls. Okay, so you look at this door before you open it. Uh, it does have a um, mural painted on the outside depicting a dark mantle descending on an unsuspecting dwarf who is admiring a gleaming gemstone. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's open that one. I have no idea what it means. Let's open it. Death from above is what I heard. You go to try to open it, and the door does not open. Okay. To the yeah. other door. You don't want me to try to break it down? You can try it. Must move. Can I Spartan kick it? You can. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. That's bloody. <clears throat> Andrew woke up and chose violence. <laughs> 27. Holy shoot. Okay. <laughs> And ladders. 
So <laughs> with a 27, you Spartan kick this door, and this door blasts open. Uh, what you see inside... <laughs> Door's open. <laughs> um, the first door! Sitting on a chair in the southwest corner, looking like oh you just interrupted a trance, is a drow sitting there. There's a wooden table in the center of the room that looks like it's got some, uh, like a, maybe a map of loose stones uh, arranged to form walls and doors. And there's also a, um, like a demon looking thing, like a little imp that's sitting across the way from, um, oh. hold on. I just realized you guys can't see these guys. We're using our imagination. Yeah. <clears throat> Their tokens are this whole game they're, on, they're on the wrong <laughs> Can I do like a like a stumble like I didn't mean to kick the door open and like fall on the ground and say I'm sorry? Uh, go ahead and roll a performance with disadvantage. I got a zero on it so there's one roll. A nine and a three. A three. <laughs> uh, That's not so, good. Yeah, so you fall forward, <laughs> and the little imp creature here just goes. He he just lets out like a. Ah! And the uh, the drow sitting there, he's, he he looks a little shocked as well. And he says, uh, "How did you get in here?" I tripped and fell into the door. Yes, forgive my friend. He's a little bit uh, cumbersome at times. Go ahead and roll deception for me. <laughs> yeah, six. <laughs> and a seven. Yeah. <laughs> a likely story. What is your business here? Why do you come bursting into my room? Anybody else want to take this one? We weren't aware there were anyone, uh, there were any occupants here. The locked door didn't give you any sort of indication. Many doors mm, in this nope. dungeon are locked. And do you? Does like that mean we should never explore them? them? Yes. We surely will. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of smirks. And <laughs> Interesting. Another adventuring party. And do you mind if I ask what your business is here? My business is my own. I'm here attempting to establish a foothold for my Benefactor. And who might that be? And then you hear the owl go, Who? <laughs> <laughs> I represent the Zentarim. I'm sure you've heard of them. Ooh. Uh, can I do like a history check or something to see if yeah, I know? Go ahead. Yeah, it's been no, perfect for your I, owl to do that. I don't know anything about them. No. Uh, oh yeah, can is that a possibility? What? To have the owl roll? You'd have to get. You have to tell me what the limitations on your familiar. Oh, let's see. No, I don't think so. I mean, he can help. He has the help action. Right. But I think that just gives me advantage. Yeah, I think so. I don't know who he's talking about. The, you said the Zent, the Zentar? The Zentarim. What do you know about I, the Xanathar's guild? I know that... It's run by a beholder, and that we defeated some of their underlings on the first floor. 
You have, have you? Mm-hmm. Maybe yes. you can be of use to me after all. See. We're actually looking for somebody. The Black Viper. <clears throat> you can't swim. Say you're looking for the Black Viper. Hmm. He uh. Hmm. He just kind of ponders a little bit as he's thinking about trying to recollect on who that is. Did I spell it? Eself. Yes. E L E. For Crisando, one of the quests when we first came down. Right. Um, <laughs> sorry, give me a second. I don't know of this black viper. <laughs> But you say he's with the Xanathar's Guild? Yes. Well. Then I wouldn't pay him too much mind. Dispatch him if you can. Save yourself the trouble. Noted. You said we might be of use to you. What did you mean? Well, the Xanathar Guild is been given us some problems in Skullport. We're working on trying to get rid of them, claim that territory as our own. I wonder if you may be able to help us with that task. You say you've dispatched some of their members already. Oldport, you say? We're heading now. Well, then by all means, let us work together. I'm all for smashing skulls and kicking in doors. Clearly. Your skills <laughs> are good enough to even get past the magically locked door. Oh. As I look at our little warlock, how come you didn't tell me? You didn't give me time. <laughs> Tick tock, motherfucker. <laughs> um, Let's start with this, shall we? <laughs> I can offer you a reward if you help me destroy both of the Xanathar Guild outposts on this level of the dungeon and return with the heads of both the leaders. Ooh. Who are their leaders? One is Nadia the Unbent. The other one, Shun Shuri. Sounds like a prude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nadia the Unbent and who? Shun Shurith. Shun Shun Shuri? Mm-hmm. Bring your heads to me and I will make your exploration of the Undermountain much easier. I like that. Y'all like that? I like Can we trust this guy? My wisdom's an eight. It sounds good to me. I like it. Could be dangerous. And we find you here when we need to return with their heads. Yes, I will be here. If if I am not here, I will I will know that you are here and I will make myself available. How do we get to uh Skullport? I think it's on the third level. I know we had a map, but I'm, I'm asking him, like, how best to get that. Find the stairs oh, yeah. that descend this level of the dungeon. It will lead you into Skullport, or you could go back up and head towards the docks. Leave through the yawning portal, and then go to the seedier part of town. Oh, go out and about and around. Yeah, nobody has got... 
we'll make our way there. And is there some proof we can offer once we've defeated your enemies in Skullport? Uh, he said he wanted their heads. He said the two outposts on... Start with the outposts and we will go from there. What say you? Do we have an accord? Are you guys talking? Hello? Wave if you can hear me. I can't hear anyone. Yeah, I can't hear anyone oh, either. There we go. No, I hear Brian. Right. Yep. Yeah. The Discord had to that was it. that was Discord. Ah, okay. That's a problem. You guys decided. I heard everything the entire time. You're full of shit. No, I could. He's just well, good. Brian right said if I can hear him, I wave. I could see them the whole time. I couldn't hear him. Let me check uh, the server real quick. Did you get a PRTG alert? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, where is the thing that tells me what server I'm on? Oh, I think they did away with that. Anyway. Alright, everybody here, everybody now? We good? Yep. All right, cool. Yeah. So uh, the last thing that I said that I don't know if anyone heard was um, him asking you if you had an accord. I like it. <clears throat> I'm sure. I'm good with going to kill a couple people and bringing their heads back in a sack. Yeah, let's do it. We can do this for you. But the reward. Any better be worth our time. Like I said, do this for me and your exploration will be much easier. Okay. What was your name, by the way? My name is Rizaril. What is your name? Logwin. And this is Dan. <laughs> you should you should say who? <laughs> <laughs> who? He looks at the owl and he says, Hello, Dan. Who? <laughs> My printer. <laughs> I checked someone's, under the carpet. Someone's trying to log into the UPS. <laughs> oh, God damn. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right, so just, like, out of character real quick. Mm -hmm. he, did he say to take out the two outposts on this level as well? Yes. He, that, that, okay. That's, that, that's the mission he has assigned you right now. Okay. All right. Yep. With, um... Riz he's Rizarel, kill Nadia and Shun. Okay. Cool. All right. Is, is there anything yeah. else worthwhile on this level, like in this little immediate area? Because we're yeah. gonna go bust some more doors down. There's always something to explore down here. He said. He says with a smile. Anything specific would be ruining the fun, wouldn't you say? Eh, it doesn't matter to me. It's always a surprise. Alright. Let's uh, go see what's in this door across the hall. Yeah. Uh, sorry about the door. It is okay. We will hey, what's down here? Fine, they'll magic it up. What's down there? I see other... Don't worry about them. 
There's people down mm. there. There, yes. They are my constituents. They are with me. Okay. They come when called. They do not need to be called now, do they? I seen it. <laughs> nah. Sorry about your door. I'm blasting. <laughs> Start a blast. All right. You want to check guys, this door to see if it's magically land. locked? Yeah. <laughs> All right, how are you checking to see if it's magically locked? Mix it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Not locked. You go. Are you trying Can to we open, open this it? door? Yeah, let's open it. Okay, you go to open it, and just like the last one, this door doesn't budge. Blast it. Barton, kick it. Do it. Yeah. Acrobatics. Or uh, athletics. performance, right? Athletics. Hold athletics. On. Use your special door knocker. Yeah, right. My feet. <laughs> 18. Okay. You go and you Spartan kick the door, and you just hear a loud. Mm. And then the door stays open, or stays shut. It stays open. Wait a minute. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna try it one more time. Alright, go ahead. Nope. <laughs> thud. <laughs> well, yeah, once again, another thud. You wanna detect magic on this thing? I don't have that. Oh, no. I can oh, well. identify what kind of door it is, though. It's a closed door, is what it is. Damn right. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, unless okay. I can try, try like ramming into it with a strength. No. Put my shoulder into it. There are more doors down this hallway. We should try them as well. Okay. You talked me out of. Maybe we can come back to that another time. Let me try this one. Okay. You, open? This door does open without issue. Um, uh -huh. This room is pretty ruined, though. Much of this room collapsed long ago. What remained is covered in a, in a thick layer of dust. <laughs> you can see that there are human footprints uh, that crisscross around the dusty floor. There's a plain stone throne that stands against the south wall. Beyond it, there are heaps of rubble that fill a collapsed tunnel over here. I'm not digging in rubble. Nope. Next. <laughs> Check that next door. Okay. Are you, are you Spartan kicking all these doors in at this point? No, no. I'm just trying to open it. You're just trying to open it? Okay. Uh, this one does open, and once again you see another room that the back of this room has collapsed completely. Um, this just full of dust and debris. It doesn't like there's a very stale mustiness in the air. No one's been here in ages. Okay. Nope. Oh. Let's see if we Hello. can find some of these guild members. Hello, my old nemesis. <laughs> Hello, my darling. <laughs> can I uh, kick it one more time? You can kick it one more time. 18. Yeah. Same thing. Once again, you just hear a loud thud. Every time you do kick this and there's that thud, uh, Lugwin's owl kind of flaps its wings and gets a little startled. <laughs> loud noises. Loud noises hurt the elderly. Yes, Dan. it does. Dan, I can only handle so much poop on my back. Yeah. <laughs> you have to hold it in, buddy. Well. Alright. I give let's, up. Let's move on. Um. So we have to go... 
We have East. unexplored down here, where I'm pinging. And then... Almost all the way back to the beginning, there's two different ways we can go. Let's go to this tunnel over here that we haven't gone through yet. I like that idea. I'm just going to move myself all the way down to here. Here you go. That's where I'm pinging. Zoom out. Not everyone's as zoomed out as you are. It's clearly 27-inch monitors. <laughs> just down the hallway. Keep going around. I feel like I'm playing that scary game. The scary, the scary game, the maze. Jump scare, yeah. <laughs> Five nights at Freddy's. PTSD. Who are we missing? We got everybody. Yep, there we go. Oh, yep. All right. Okay. Take off with each other. Yep. Mm. The long ass hallway. Yes, it is. And it opens. Uh oh. Alright, make a perception check for me. Uh, is everyone down there? Yep. Yeah. Most people. With the sickness? There we go. God damn 17. It. Some horrible rules tonight. What about your owl? He's not helping you? <laughs> With that owl vision. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, you can. I could yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah, he gets advantage on perception checks that rely on hearing and sight. Negated by his old yeah. age. Yeah. Damn it! So it doesn't work. I'll be like, I'll, I'll notice. So Luglin won't be able to see anything, but he'll turn don't, to don't, he'll don't turn to Dan that. and be like, Dan. Do you see anything in these rooms? What do your owl eyes see? Oh. Look with your special eyes. Then my brand. My brand. See what he gets. He has a plus one. And so fourteen. Okay. Um. Oline and Zith, you both can hear just kind of a as kind of a um, trail of of some sort of viscous liquid plops down Ugh. on the floor in front of you right over here. Uh, something sounds wet and sticky. <laughs> yep. Uh. What? Eh. <laughs> um. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh no. I'm gonna hide that tomorrow. Damn Thank it. you. It's your problem now. <laughs> um, Alright, so oh, as God you guys damn. are. Uh, so you see this viscous liquid drop down in front of you, and as soon as you look up, you can see floating down in front of you is what looks like a beholder. Oh, God. Let's go no. ahead oh. and roll oh. that initiative. And oh, damn it. All gonna die. I don't like that. Like, oh, Not God. like that. Oh dear. So bad. <sighs> Shit. Seven. That's legal. Behold. Oh. 
older, huh? Search pretty sure that's not the only thing in here, but... Mm, pretty sure it is. Not good. What did you roll? Uh, three. All right. O line. Seven. Raleigh. Eighteen. Duke. Thirteen. Lugwin. Uh, six. Okay. E. Let's go ahead and take uh, just like a quick five minute break while I get this going. And then uh, okay. we'll start combat when we get back. Cool.
Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay, cool. We're all back. I've got your initiatives. We're going to go ahead and start. Raleigh, you're up first, sir. Uh, okay. So since he's not very close to me, I can move to get better position. I'd like to put myself right here. Okay. Can I, can I shoot him? Mm -hmm. Did he did he drop down and face us? Um, or he is, is he facing... facing... No, he is facing. Okay, so he's facing the hallway. I know there was a way to like move the character tokens. I just didn't know if the monster token... Help. Yes, it does. Right. Oh. Oh God. It's a natural one. Um, oh. There is no allies in your general area, so you lucked out. Uh, your arrow just goes wide. Okay. Shoot him again. Oh god, I thought it was another freaking one. <laughs> uh, a 15 does hit. Yay! Damn it. Four. Alright, four points of damage. You're offhand. You should have one more attack, yeah? Yeah. Yes. 16 hits, total damage. Nine. Those are nine points. All right. Two of your crossbow bolts hit him straight away. Is there anything else you want to do? Not die. Well, mm. we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. Duke. yeah. End of campaign. <laughs> There's a room full of people in the other room. It looks like a, a gangbang. Wait, are there bugbears? There's an orgy in the other room. <laughs> They're spit roasting a goblin. Oh god. <laughs> it's Drew. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shrebo. Cod's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, Chris gonna roll? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Ah, okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and. He doesn't know his character name. He's Duke. More like Puke. <laughs> yeah. oh. 18. 18 will hit. Alright. Um, That's my motto. God damn it. <laughs> nice. Alright. 12 points of damage to this creature. We're gonna go for it again. Okay. 18. 18 will hit. Hey. You Shut also get your super secret first round of combat thing. You're never gonna hear that again without thinking of Six. it, guys. You're right. <laughs> I mean, I have my Dread Ambush here, so I can go with my 1d8... 1d8. Chris got one of them privacy protectors on his phone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can be, who knows what I'm doing in the middle of the day. Uh -huh. okay, and that will be it. Cool. It is now its turn. It? It. Child called it? Yep. All right, it is going to fire up one Wait. of its rays. So you guys can see that this, this you guys ne haven't necessarily seen an actual beholder yet, at least as a group, um, but this one only has four eye stocks. So it looks similar to the one that you fought back in the Wave Echo Cave. Okay. The itty bitty little thing. So it's yeah. a younger one. But this is a so. bigger one. In this case, right now, um, the uh, uh, let me I gotta write this down again because I did that last time. Um, the one on your desk? Huh? Like the one on your desk? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, no, this one has a shit ton of more 
price stocks, but yeah, that's sick. Yeah, Raider Beholder. Yep. Uh, this is this one. Oh, a whopper so good. Got a whopper. No one is. No, the, the candy <laughs> kind. It's got Whopper Jr. hands. All right. I love that commercial. Uh, it is going to fire up its green eye stock and it is going to look at O line, and a green beam is going to fire at you. So I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Hey. Okay. 23. You, get, you are blasted by this ray, but you are able to withstand a chunk of the damage. I need you to go ahead and take 18 points of... Uh, Ow! Uh, sorry, 19 points of necrotic... Or force damage. No, necrotic damage. That's gonna fuck me. If Ow! Yeah, that's gonna oh. fuck somebody up and you fail that save. Uh, Not good. Oh, I plan on it. So you can't regenerate... That drops your hit point maximum, doesn't it? No, that's it's not constitution damage. It's just damage. Um, I'm gonna use my stones endurance as a reaction to reduce the damage dealt by one d twelve two. Okay. So I'll reduce by. It was on a twelve. Um, Damn. So by fours. So 15 points. Alright. Okay. Alright, align it is now your turn. I got 30 feet of movement, so. I'm gonna go all the way around him and go behind him. Okay. And. He is, and, he is, he is uh, floating in the air, so you could have gone like slid underneath him, Duke to Hazard style. No, nah, and after kicking in the door, my, my legs are kind of. <laughs> True. So I'm gonna take my great sword and take a swipe at this guy. Alright, go ahead. Show one. Organic gummy bears. Those are Ooh. you can't take those and drive to work, Dewey. <laughs> uh natural one. Uh, no. You're um your great sword, he, yeah, he, he just kind of dodges out of the way and just kind of... Mm-hmm. I'm going to swing at him again. Do it. 24. 24 will hit. Eleven points. Okay. And you know what? Action, sir. Okay. Two more attacks. Do we pay attention to Screw how this. you use action surge? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, 10. Will not hit. It's too little. 23 will. Yes, it will. <clears throat> Ooh, 16 points. Almost max. All right. Sweet. All right, I'm good. Yep. So your great sword, uh, after him kind of dodging out of the way, you just rake it across his back. As now this this black ooze is now starting to drip from the backside. Lugwin. Um, Lugwin's gonna start blasting. He's gonna hit him. Move with out of ice shot. Blast. Blast, blast, blast. Let's see if he can hit him here. Yeah. Uh, that's a 13. 13 will mm. not hit. Oh, that'll hit. That's 25. Yep, 25. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Minimum mm. damage, 5 points. Alright. Yep, and he's going to take a step back around the corner here. Okay. And that'll end his turn. Alright, that's it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast... Guiding Bolt. Okay. And 
an 18. Ooh. 18 will hit. Fourteen. Not messing around. All right, fourteen points of radiant damage. No, I'm uh, not. Sure. And let me go ahead and cast my spiritual weapon. Okay. Yeah, confuse this guy. <laughs> He's gonna get it from every side. So eighteen. Nice. Like one of those videos I watched. It's like, it's like what Dewey <laughs> Wrong was video. Beforehand. Uh huh. And four points. Uh. Okay. Cool. Nice. Four points. And now for the Guiding Bolt, does, uh, is that the one that gives the next attack advantage? Ooh. Um, let's see. I was only using the first level. So, and the next attack roll made against this target before the end of your next turn has advantage. All yes. Right. Cool. Awesome. So is that for everybody? Yep. No. The, 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 is the it? Next, it's the next attack that hits him has advantage. Oh, okay. Okay. From me or from anyone? From anyone. Just the next attack, whoever it is. Okay. Okay. Nice spell. I like yeah. it. Guiding Bolt is a really great cleric spell, offensive cleric spell. Uh, all right. Raleigh. <sighs> well, I'm going to try to get as much damage in before he kills me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 20. Nice. 20 will hit. 21. Nine. Nine points of damage, all right. Another one. 13 does not hit, right? No, mm. it does not. But what about... Because you didn't have advantage. Uh, Well, the first attack had advantage, and he made it already. Yeah. Yep. So you, he could have rolled to see if he crit, but it's fine. Damn it, 22. Will hit. With four. <laughs> nice. All right. Weak. Um, <laughs> with the with the gash of O line reeling this thing back and the guiding bolt of Zith hitting it, uh, Raleigh, you uh, you fire two crossbow bolts at it, and you are able to hit one in the eye and one in the roof of its mouth, and this thing falls down in just a blithering heap, dead on the ground. Yay. Nice. Nice. And y'all were worried. Nah, uh, beholders wanna, are no joke. Do you want to do yeah. anything with your movement? Before the gangbang of people come into the room? <laughs> do you want to <laughs> do anything with your movement? I, I would like to move, <laughs> I would like to move up a little bit. Okay. Away, <laughs> away from the Avengers. Okay. <laughs> move up. You're gonna hide behind the beholder zombie. Yeah. Do you okay. do you not no okay, nobody else sees it. Alright, that's fine. All right. Um, <laughs> There's like 20 people in that room. <laughs> Which room? Oh, oh boy. Just look through that hole. You're going to, You're going to learn today. <laughs> West or south? There's as many eyeballs in that room as there is in this beholder right here. Uh. We killed their daddy. <laughs> they all look special. Your daddy? They all look like they have different icons. Oh, nice. Running out of the room is... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What looks like a... What the hell is that? <laughs> That's it's not good. good when the DM doesn't <laughs> even know what's going on. <laughs> what the hell? That's a zombie. It's a guy uh, with an axe. No, okay, so this humanoid female starts bolting out of the room, yelling and screaming, um, running out of the room, uh, but, like, a, no, sorry. Yeah, that's a bug. Across here. the way. Um, behind her is, um, Hammerman the Gaffer. People. Um,. I don't know. They don't look friendly. Oh shit. No. Nope. Oh fuck. No. Nope. 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 Oh, uh, you, you you don't see what I see, buddy. <laughs> you don't see what I see. Duke, it is your turn. Run away. 
Red Full of thorns on him or something. Leave right. us! Pulls out the red flag. Okay. Find a campfire and save. Um, Find a campfire and save the game. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fast <laughs> travel with enemies. enemies. <laughs> I'm gonna move up one step. Bro, bro. No. I'm gonna like right there. And then that middle guy in the group, we need to hit him with this. Wait, we don't know if they're, if they're angry, right? Oh. We're still in combat, so. No, because you don't take it. They're, they're running out of that room, yelling, weapons drawn. Well, hang on. We should talk to them. Maybe they were under the spell. Return, no talking. Nah. Swipe or no swipe? Hit him. <laughs> Duke, what do you want to do? Hola! <laughs> One sec, I'm grabbing it ready. You guys are saying this because you don't see what's behind them. <laughs> okay. I see it. So, I'm going to throw the first one. It's going to be a normal attack. On, on who? On middleman right here. This dude here. Okay. Yep. Oh, boy. 12. Uh, a 12 will hit. <clears throat> ah. Okay. All right. And then uh, I'm going to go and do this next one as my Reign of Thorns. Since they're all together. Uh, okay. Or Hail of Thorn, I'm sorry. Uh, so let me just do my D20. It's a normal D20, right? Not that normal, and and you're, you're shooting at the same guy? Yeah, same guy. Okay, go ahead. A, well, it'd be your normal longbow attack, so yeah, so 19 plus whatever, that's going to hit. And then it's going to be my longbow attack plus the Hail of Thorns, right? On the first guy. They all have to make dexterity saving throws, correct? Yes. What's the DC? DC is going to be 12. Let me go and actually pull it up here. They need a... Uh, dexterity saving throw, 1d10. What's the on dexterity the saving throw? Save on... Oh, dexterity 12, it says. Okay. Um, so the guy that originally that you hit with the arrow, he's the only one who passed. Everyone else failed. So go ahead and roll your uh, your arrow damage first. Yep. 10. Okay. And then let me go and roll the Hail of Thorns. Yep. And 8. Jesus. Okay. Nice. Get it. Uh, oh, wait, I gotta. He took half. I think I got everybody there. All right, anything else? That'd be it. Cool. Uh, it is now, so he's dead. Uh, O-line. All right, well, I don't know who the hell is coming to scream at me, but I'm gonna zoom in and go right here. Okay. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this <laughs> my legs <laughs> this is uh the guy that was attacked right is that i i thought he clicked on this one but i saw this one pinged this the bottom guy down here he's the guy who's who is the main focus of all of chris's attack okay i'm gonna swing at this guy and the one in front of you yes okay go ahead Directly in front. And I'm going to do uh, a sweeping strikes if I. Okay. 20. Uh, a 20 will hit, yes. 
11 points of damage to this guy. And then I'm going to do... Sorry, 11 points. Okay. i to roll... I'm a D8 for the damage on the other... On the other two? Uh, no, just this guy here in the corner. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I didn't one. Uh, so five points to him. Okay, cool. And I will attack again. Okay, go ahead. Same focus. That guy right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, ten. Ten is not going to do it. It was on an 18. Yeah. That's all I got. All right. Lugwin. Uh, yeah, okay, so Lugwin's gonna step out here, uh, in front of Duke for a moment, and he's going to cast Cause Fear. Ooh. Um. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, right? Yeah, so it's, uh, any target I can see in 60 feet, or any, sorry, any three targets I can see within 60 feet. Um. Uh, wisdom saving throw 16. So it's going to be these front three. The three of the same uh, token? Uh, oh, this, sorry. Also uh, that, the, that this girl. Okay, and then the, yeah. this, this guy and this guy. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, what's the DC again? It's a wisdom? 16. Mm -hmm. 16 wisdom. So the two uh, thugs, they fail... Uh, and then the female, they all fail. Okay, um, they become frightened of me, uh, and the frightened target 